Hey, good people. Minister Man Outdoors here again. Um, I am doing another upgrade on my um, my retort part three because what I'm trying to achieve here is uh, my objective here is to build a retort that can make charcoal within two and a half to three hours. Um, ironically, or Surprisingly, I already have a retort that can make charcoal an hour and a half, but it's too small. You know, it makes about three pounds of charcoal, which is okay for a um, homeowner. But I want to make a little bit, I want to make about five pounds of charcoal per batch. So my objective here is to, one, have the retort be unattended. Um, the last version I made, I was just constantly having to feed it sticks, which means I constantly had to be out here. And so objective number one is I want it unattended. So what I've done is I've added, added a pellet burner to the retort. And number two is I wanted to make charcoal within three to three and a half hours. And so that means it has to get really, really hot. That means it can't be too big. The smaller it gets, the hotter it gets, the faster it'll make charcoal, but the less charcoal you'll make. So it has to be the, the right size to make at least five pounds of charcoal or close to it and um, be unattended. So let me show you what I have so far. So what I've done is I've dug a hole here in the ground, it's rectangular in shape. That is going to be my secondary burn chamber for my pellet burner. Um, this is temporary because I'm still in the trial phases. So um, that's going to be my secondary burn chamber. Now what I have done to the retort is I have made all right, I cut a hole in the bottom of the retort. Square hole. That's where the pellets are going to drop through. Because you, you got to have a way. This is my retort. There's the hole for the chimney heat riser. So you have to have a way for the burnt pellets to drop through. If you don't have a way for those to drop through, then what will happen is they'll just build up to ash and eventually your fire will go out. So they have to drop through, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna drop down on this little grate that I made. So the first phase of the uh, pellets, as they burn, they're gonna drop on this, they're gonna continue burning, and then they're gonna drop through this down into the hole. And this grate is gonna sit on top of that hole inside the rocket stove. And um, so I'm gonna take this rocket stove and I'm going to place it over the hole. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Camera set up. So I'm going to place the rocket stone over the hole. Okay. I'm going to put the pellet grate inside so the pellet can drop through. And here's my pellet burner. Now this is just expanded metal. I made this. This is also just temporary. Um, this is not the smallest expanded metal. I think it's the second to the smallest size. I'll put the correct size for this inside the description, but I just made this temporarily and I will make a stainless steel permanent pellet burner with a stainless steel bar that I bend to the proper shape, weld it all together, and um, um, 
to make my pellet basket. So this just slides down into here. So what we have here now is an area for my pellets. And on the back here is where my air will go in. Now I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna be big enough. So eventually I may have to put a hole here to allow more air to come in. But, um, or I may just leave some, you know, yeah, just put a hole there to allow more air to come in. But for right now, that's my air inlet. This is where the air comes out. So obviously that is much bigger than the air going in. So I'm hoping what will happen is it'll create more of a jet stream. And air will rush past those pellets a lot faster, which will make them a lot hotter. To make the fire a lot harder and burn a little bit more efficiently. So I'm gonna get some wood set up, put inside the retort, and get this going. All packed up and ready to cap and put on. All right, I got the pellets started. So once that gets going really good, then I'll fill up this little area. Problem is I need a, I need a way to constantly feed the pellet. So I don't have a pellet hopper yet. So I'll rig up something though. All right, stay tuned. Okay, if you look down in there, You'll be able to see, I can focus on it. You can see some of the pellets have dropped onto that top grate and they're beginning to burn secondarily. But, um, I just found a little piece of uh, stove pipe. I guess that's it, a little chimney pipe, and I stuck it in there. Filled it up with pellets for right now. That's serving as my hopper. But if you can listen, this baby is humming and rocketing right on. So, phase one is working. Start my timer to see how long it takes to make charcoal. If I can get this hopper to stay still. Okay, so I ordered some Midwest stovetop thermometers. And as you can see, right now on top of the retort is a little over 200 degrees. But what's so funny is on the side, it's not even 100 yet. So the top, is, so it looks like it gets hot from the top down, but this side's gonna get piping hot as well. It's just taking longer for the heat to fall. The heat is going from top to bottom, which is odd to me. All right, good people, here's an update. Um, it's been running for about an hour now, and I had to make an adjustment. Um, I had to take off the little um, stove pipe right there. I had to take that off holding my pellets because it was putting so much pressure down on this that my rocket, my 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 char, um, my pellet basket shifted, and my temperature wasn't reading over 200 degrees. So if you can see it now, well, it was reading right at. A little over 200 degrees and the rocket effect had slowed down but if you can see down in there now you can see the um, secondary burn chamber that I created 
is actually working now because that those pellets are burning a second time and then they're gonna fall through the grate down into the little hole I built I dug but the stove pipe the actually the, the retort pipe it's almost 500 degrees now at first it didn't get above 300 but after I adjusted the basket and which causes the proper airflow and heat to gener generate enough heat now the stove pipe which is inside the retort oven the, the retort is almost 500 degrees and that's what you want you really want to get it up to about 700 but but the oven is still not reading very hot I mean it's getting there it's building much more heat than it was before I'm gonna put this on the top now it's building much more heat than it was before so this affects my time but I've learned something Check that out, people. I'm looking at almost 600 degrees on that internal uh, heat riser pipe, but only reading about 275 on the oven, the retort. So I don't know if that's correct, but I do know this thing is swooping hot today. I had to make a few adjustments. My pellet burner basket kept moving because it's not stable at the bottom. And if that if that's not completely vertical, it could mess up the airflow and cool down the temperatures. So I wasn't getting the temperatures I wanted. Um, I wasn't getting the temperatures I needed for, um, so I wasn't getting the temperatures I needed to achieve the uh, maximum efficiency. But today, I relit it and I'm getting up to almost 600 on the internal pipe and close to 300 inside the oven, which that needs to be a lot hotter. So, um, yeah, let's um, let's see how, see how it goes. It's only been going for about 30 minutes now though, so. That's really good for 30 minutes. Listen to that rocket stove hum. It is 700 degrees on the oven, a little over 700 degrees on the heat riser. Perfect. About out of pellets. So, so even though I didn't get the time that I wanted, I wanted to try to achieve about four and a half, three and a half, four and a half hour burn time. I think total was about five hours, six hours but my temperatures in my pellet basket or in, in the uh, pellet feeder the um, burn chamber just kept falling because the pellet basket kept moving and adjusting so I finally got it stabilized and achieved the temperatures that I wanted so next test make sure that pellet basket is stabilized and I should get charcoal in less than four hours which will be success Alrighty, let me let you see what the uh, end product came out to be. Nice lump charcoal. 
I'm gonna weigh this up, see how much I got. I'm here in my basement and we have 6.59 pounds of charcoal. That is awesome. All right, good people, there you have it. Um, it took over four hours, close to five, because the temperature kept going down and the uh, pellet feeder kept moving. So I'm gonna have to stabilize that. But otherwise, I would say this was a success. It got, um, it got to the temperature I wanted after I stabilized the pellet basket and um, it worked out great. You see the charcoal it made. Um, so um, listen up people, we want this world to be a better place. We want our children, our grandchildren to live in a better place. Treat people the way you want them to treat you and not the way they treat you. All right, see you next time.